Hey friends, this is Cast Iron Mike. I am the founder of Finex Cast Iron Cookware, and I'm down here at the Imperial in Portland, Oregon with the Doug Adams. And Doug knows his way around a cast iron skillet. I'm already getting hungry. And Doug, what, what are we gonna do today? Uh, we're just gonna kind of show off the versatility of this pan, um, have some fun. Got a couple different things, a couple different cooking methods, and we're gonna do it up. So we're gonna be searing some albacore tuna real quick. I'm not looking for a lot of color. We got a nice aromatic spice rub on this fish, so we want to go real, real light. A little bit of color is great. You can smell it's getting very aromatic. So with this spice rub, if we went too heavy on our sear, it could get really bitter, and we don't want that. So very, very lightly. While our pan's nice and hot, I have these beautiful groundwork organic Romano beans that we're just gonna barely blister. And while we're at it, we got these beautiful padrones. And all this stuff is kind of under the barely cooked category. Give us a nice seasoning. And the, oh my, the cast iron is the all-time best way to cook for drones. You can see they just blister up beautifully. I love cooking in cast iron. There's nothing like it. And you can see in like no time the color we got on our vegetables. It's you just can't compare it to a cast iron pan. So with a delicate fish like this, we're putting almost no pressure on the knife, just letting the sharp knife do the work. This fresh albacore can be so, so tender. So for our nice kind of lighter dish of the day, um, we got some seared cast iron albacore tuna. Um, came off the boat yesterday. Underneath it, I got some fresh peaches from Viridian Farms. I tossed it in just kind of like a sweet pepper relish, almost like a chimichurri kind of thing. We're just gonna cover the bottom of this cast iron pan with these guys. Here I have the raw Romano bean with some barbecue smoked onions. This is all cold. And again, it's all tossed in that same sweet pepper relish. Tons of herbs, leave a little bit to go on top. And the tuna we're just gonna kinda put, show off the nice cook, the nice cast iron sear. Albacore tuna is a must in Oregon in the summer. You gotta serve it, you gotta eat it. We got some raw, some of these seared cast iron Romano beans. Still just barely warm gonna kind of get in there. Some hot chili. And again, the whole point of this dish is just fresh. But showing off that really nice consistent sear from that cast iron, it's pretty unreal. To finish, we got some Padron peppers that we seared real hot in our cast iron. Again, an Oregon favorite in the summer. Just kind of intermittently. We'll finish with a little bit more of that raw pepper, raw bean. Got some Jacobson sea salt, straight from the Oregon coast. Something really cool about cooking and plating Oregon food in a cast iron pan that's made in Oregon. One of those hair stand up -y moments. And on top, just to barely finish, is just a little bit of fennel frond. And that's it.